What's up everyone, I just checked out The Gin, which is a new horror movie from 2021, so let's review it. Real quick, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of the movie if you've seen it. This is also going to be spoiler free, so you're free to watch it. If you haven't seen the movie and you're kind of wondering if you should see the movie, or you're just curious what the movie's about, this will be spoiler free nonetheless. Uh, so anyway, let's get into it. So this movie follows a boy who's mute, and he lives alone with his father after his mother passed away, and essentially he finds this book, which like grants wishes, or grants you know, like your heart's dearest desire, or something like that. Um, so he wishes, I believe he wishes to get his voice back, and then essentially after that this monster shows up and really starts chasing him around the whole house it's kind of like a cat and mouse thing throughout the horror movie and that's really the plot of the movie I don't want to go too in-depth with it to spoil anything uh, the plots fairly simple uh, but anyway let's get into my review so I got a chance to check out this movie at a drive-in theater of all places it was actually the second movie that played when I saw Spiral uh, which is obviously obviously the new Saw movie. They always play double features at drive-ins. So this was playing next. I almost didn't stay to watch it, but I did. And I'm actually glad I did, because actually I think the movie's pretty good. It's only 80 minutes long, which is fairly short. Not too short for a horror movie. Horror movies tend to be shorter, but it is short nonetheless. But honestly, I did enjoy the movie quite a bit. The story that this movie tells is really simple and refreshing. And it's really kind of like a slow burn movie, very literally. With each scene in the movie, it literally gets scarier. Um, all the time and really just you know the scariest stuff happens at the end and that's I like that about it I like slow burn I I think that uh, that aspect of the movie worked out quite a bit for me but in general I don't think this movie was too scary um, I don't I don't really get scared during horror movies but but the people who are with me when they watch the movie um, they too do get scared during horror movies they weren't they, they, they weren't really scared during it so in general I don't think the movie was scary at all aside from one scene in the movie towards the end that I thought was really scary other than that it wasn't it was pretty tame horror movie something definitely you could show not horror fans it's because it wasn't too bad in that in that regard but the scary part of this movie is really the tone and the vibe and like the lighting and everything and really the camera work and just the way the director or i think there's two directors directors kind of work with the movie and kind of work to make it really just feel creepy as it's not actually a you know, jump scare scary it's more like shining um the first like hour and a half of shining creepy if you've seen the shining it's more like that and that's definitely that definitely works for me i definitely enjoy that and this movie definitely does give off creepy vibes you know with the the lighting the music and everything like that and as i mentioned with the kind of slow burn aspect it, the movie throughout the movie they're building a lot of suspense towards the ending ezra dewey is the child actor in this movie he plays the lead role who's pretty much the only lead character in the movie but i think he does a great job playing it kid actors nowadays are just so good in what they do it seems like every time you have a kid actor especially in horror movies it's always a really good performance and that's the same case here it's just a completely phenomenal performance from a child way better than we should be getting from children so it the performance here is really good. I really enjoyed it. Definitely a very strong performance from Ezra Dewey. And that definitely really helped the movies kind of feel the messages this movie tries to send. This movie is quite emotional towards the end, particularly. And the, and Ezra Dewey really helped kind of convey those messages in a lot of ways. But like I said, there's not like a ton to this movie. It's very simple, very short. The, pl the plot is really a plot that's been done before. With the kind of careful, be careful of what you wish for kind of thing. And, you know consequences and appreciating what you have stuff like that it's all been done before but that's all right in my opinion but so the plot's not like too creative but i enjoy it it's very simple it's a very simple short horror movie it is short but it kind of feels longer than it is due to the nature of it being slow burn but i just quite enjoyed this movie it's scary it's entertaining and i just really had a good time watching it. i'm really glad i got a chance to check it out it's definitely probably my favorite horror movie of 2021 for 2021 so far i certainly liked it more than spiral um not that much more i did, I did like spiral but i like this one more it was definitely it was a really strong movie and i think it just it did a really good job at building tension throughout the movie and really making you feel scared even though the movie itself isn't super scary and at times the movie was a little weird with i thought the editing was a little weird um where like the kid were getting chased and then he would just run away and the monster just like doesn't grab I, there was a lot of scenes like that that's beside the point. I don't, I don't like criticizing, you know, smaller movies like this. I always feel bad when I criticize them. But I think this movie was pretty good. I, it's certainly a solid horror movie. Not the most creative, out of the water, you know, blow you away horror movie. If you like horror, I think you'll enjoy this movie. I certainly had a good time with it. I'm glad I got a chance to check it out. It's very familiar, I would say. But it's definitely a good movie. So like I said, I would highly recommend it. If you have a chance to check it out, especially if it's streaming somewhere. I can't say I would recommend you go to theaters to see it. That it's worth 
10 bucks for a ticket or something. I can't necessarily say that though. Make your own decision on that. If you like horror, it definitely is. I don't know how popular this, this movie is. I really don't know much about its re reception or anything. It was just the second movie that played. I wanted to review it because I really found it interesting. It was definitely an under, under the radar movie that I thought was actually pretty good. Uh, but as for a score of this movie, I'm going to give an 86% and four and a half stars. That's really the kind of a pretty solid score for it. Not amazing, but really good. And I, th I, sh I think I really had a good time with this movie. It's really a solid horror movie. And I definitely, I recommend you check it out if you have an opportunity to. Anyways, that will do it for my review of The Gin from 2021. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And tell me what you thought of the movie down below if you have seen it. And thanks for watching and have a great day.